Welcome back friends. The last video session we have seen um, config service, about a config service, how to connect with the public repository, how to connect with the local repository, what is a label, uh, so many information we have seen part of last video session. In this video tutorial, we are going to implement, we are going to complete the accounts, account microservice, complete the account microservice. Uh, my plan is we need, we need to create a three different microservice, account microservice, product microservice, reporting microservice. Responsibility of account microservice is creating a customer, creating a customer and uh, view the customer, view all customer. So we will do some crude operation uh, on customer object in account service, account microservice then product microservice product microservice responsibility is creating a product we'll do the same crude operation on product microservice so both microservice uh, connecting with a separate database um, account account service connecting with account db product service connecting with the product db okay then reporting service reporting service does not have any database reporting service talk to product service talk to account service to generate the report of account and the product okay this reporting will talk to product service account service through micro micro service cloud component there is a one cloud component called fain fain cloud component using fain cloud component we can talk one micro service to another micro service okay that will going to see while implementing a product micro service finally uh, after implementing the three microservices, we need to connect these microservices with API Gateway. A API Gateway, client send a request to API Gateway. API Gateway send a request to appropriate microservices. Appropriate microservices. Okay. Then these three microservices we need to connect with config server and the service registry. Okay. Uh, this is the, my plan. Today we are going to. A complete account microservice okay already we have implemented uh, 50 percent of account microservice we have uh, configured with the config service we are um, uh, configured with the registry service service register that is the european naming server still we have a db part is pending that will going to complete also we need to implement some crude operation that's it once uh, once we completed that we'll close this session tomorrow we're going to see product service and the reporting service okay let's go into the video now the account service already I have implemented, uh, the coding part is I have completed. Let me open uh, MySQL Workbench. In the account service, um, see the account service resource folder. I'm using bootstrap that properties file. This bootstrap that properties is connecting to our config server. Connecting to our config server. Con config server load the account service dot yaml file. Account service dot yaml file. Okay. Let's look at the account service account service yaml file now. What is there in the configuration? Config repo is our uh, repository, right? In the last video I have explained about that. Okay, account service dot uh, yaml file this is the account service dot yaml file here you can see port number 9092 application name account service this application name is very very important so we are, we are going to use this the application name lot of places so we have to provide unique application name for each microservices okay then this is a database configuration in the database configuration i am pointing account hyphen test hyphen db username and password that this is my own properties that i have given This is my MySQL workbench. Let me close all the things. Account test DB. See, there is no database. There, account test DB is there, but there is no table, right? We need to create. Okay, but while starting the server, it will create. Uh, in the config, when you look at the configuration, I am saying DD iPhone auto update. That meaning, whenever you start the server, start the server, Spring Boot uh, application, look at the our entity object. In this, uh, 
uh, accounts of this uh, um, Spring Boot application, you can see I have created a one Java entity object called customer. Okay, that is entity object. This entity object mapped with one table called customer table. Okay, this is a primary key. This is a column I am defining. I have defined following column, first name, last name, email ID, fee, tax and total value. Then this is a constructor, then getter setup. This is an entity object of my customer table. As of now, my database does not have a customer table. This custom, based on this customer object, customer table will be created by our JPI. Uh, created by our JPI because I have given a, a configuration like that. Uh, DDL iPhone auto update meaning if the customer table not available in the database, it will create automatically. Whatever changes I am doing, automatically that changes will reflect that reflector in the database table also whenever you start the server whenever you start the server you check the customer uh, table available or not in the particular database if it is not there it will going to create okay for this customer i have created a one customer repository clan repository interface this interface for manipulating the code operation manipulating the code operation saving updating deleting view card so to manipulate the uh, customer object I have created this uh, customer repository class, customer repository interface. That interface extend with JP repository. Extend with JP repository. It's a referring a customer object. Okay. Through this customer repository, I can perform code operation. Okay. Then I have created one service class. This service service class used customer repository to perform a code operation. Let me open that. See customer service. This is a service class. This is a service class. In this class, I have auto wired customer repository. I have auto wired customer repository. In the customer repository, I have implemented small logic. That logic calculate the GST, GST of particular fee. In the customer object, there is a one field called fee, right? Fee and a tax and a total value. User will going to input first name, last name, email ID and the fee. Tax and the total value calculated by calculated by this particular logic i am taking a fee from the customer uh, i am assuming that for that fee there is a 10 percent gst so fee into 10 divided by under it will give the gft amount of it will give the gft amount of 10 percent is that value stored in tax tax variable now total value equal to the fee plus tax the total value total value nothing but it's a inclusive of tax okay then after finding the total value the total value i am setting into customer object customer dot set total value total value after doing the performing this logic i am passing this customer object to the serve method of my customer repository serve method of my customer repository the customer above does not have any method don't think that why how i am calling the serve method how i am calling the serve method the serve method coming from jp repository this is a child class right whatever method available in the child class that method available in the parent class also so i am accessing serve method through my uh, through my uh, child class called customer repository. JP repository is a parent class, customer repository child class. Okay, now child class uh, child class uh, able to access all the methods available in the JP repository. JP repository. Okay, now I am calling that save method through my customer repository inside the save method of customer service. Whenever save that, it will perceive the customer object. It save the customer object to them uh, um, my, in my database. After saving, it will return the customer object. Return the customer object with a new ID. With a new ID. Okay, that is auto generate ID available in the new customer object. That customer information I am sending as a sending as a response to the client. Uh, response to the client. What is the client? Client can be a postman or any other client program. In our in our example, we're going to use a postman. Okay. So this is a uh, save operation as well as a update operation. Both for the both cases we can use this particular method. In the in the case of update operation, we have to send customer ID. In the case of uh, adding a new customer, we don't have to pass customer ID. Okay. Then this is a uh, get customer by ID. Get customer by ID is a uh, method which I created in the service method service class. This method calling one method called find by ID from the customer repository. If you pass any customer ID, that respective customer object returned by this particular method. Then this is the customer repository get find all. This find all then all the customer which is stored in the customer in the in the database, account database, that return array of customer. This array of customer return to the client side as a response. 
so this is a uh, some crude operation i have given okay then customer control for this crude operation i have to create a uh, endpoint rest api i have to create for that i created a one class called customer controller customer controller okay this is a rest controller then this class level i annotated annotated it with a request mapping slash api if you want to access any endpoint from this class we need to use slash api followed by that method uh, mapping uh, uh, the method uh, method mapping okay we have to call that method mapping for example here i am calling post mapping slash customer that meaning how to call this api slash customer api slash customer what is the port number of this particular account service port number of this account service 9092 right 9092 so we have to call HTTP colon localhost 9092 slash api customer whenever say whenever call this endpoint by selecting post mapping we need to pass customer object customer as a request object from the client side um, this method take that request object and uh, i am calling customer service dot save method it will save the customer in the database after saving the newly created customer assigned to here that new customer i am passing inside the response entity response response entity means what do you want response to the client in, in the form of response entity i am sending as a response to the client with the created status since i am creating i am saying status equal to creator so after successful creation the this method return a new customer object as a response to the client in in our case a postman is a client postman return that get the response the new customer data then get mappings customer this uh, this uh, um, method also we have to call then using same url same url local of 9092 api customer if you select get if you select get method what will happen this method will call if you, if you select post method this method will call okay when you select uh, get method by passing this endpoint url this will call one method called customer service or get customer this customer this get customer calling find all method from the customer repository right so it return all the customer return all the customer that customer assigning to my customer list object that list object i am sending as a response to the client through response entity object okay response entity of i am passing that customer list then i am saying status is a okay status is a okay then again say get mapping the get mapping i am passing customer id as a path variable path variable if you want to use a path variable in the endpoint method argument we have to use one annotation called get path variable get path variable then i am pass i am saying that a particular path variable type is a integer then customer id whenever pass any value here for let's say i am passing 20 now 20 will be binded with the customer id variable that that customer id i am passing inside a customer service dot get customer id method when i am passing 20 if if the customer available for the id 20 that customer returned here i am passing that customer as a response to the client so here three method we have implemented now we are going to check it is working or not as expected okay so first we need to create a table right we don't have any table here so empty database i am connecting account test db okay our expectation our expectation is after starting this uh, account service in this database we should see one table called customer okay one table called customer so the whatever column i defined here uh, whatever column i defined here for uh, customer should customer table should create with this column let's start the server now I am getting some error here. What is the error? Yeah, failed failed to determine the suitable driver classes. I think it's not able to get the driver classes. Let's check the form.xml file. 
in the pom.xml file um, i have given the given spring boot iphone starter data jpa for jpa library but i have not provided a my yeah it's there right mysql mysql iphone connected java this is a driver it is there but still it's saying not able to connect the uh, not able to find the suitable database driver the reason is this is a this is a microservice application right this is a microservice application each microservice depends on other microservices in our case the account service depends on config server account service depends on registry server because whenever start the server this account service should connect to the config server from the config server it load the account service configuration account service configuration through the configuration only it should connect to the database through the configuration only it should connect the database as of now i have not started the config server as of now i have not started the config server i have not started the registry server starting the config server is mandatory starting the config server is mandatory in this case okay if you want to deploy account service to the service registry we have to start the service registry also okay so our intention is we need to make this account service as a part of our spring uh, part of our microservice environment right for that we have to start config server as well as service registry let me start those services now that's the reason it's not able to load the not able to find the prop configuration for db connection that's the reason it's giving the error in the bootstrap i have i'm saying that please connect to the config server but i but i have not started the config server let me start the config server now Start in the config server. Config server is started. It's running under the port number double eight double eight. It's giving some error. The reason is still I have not started the Eureka naming server. It's expecting. to connect with the eureka naming server okay so we have to start the eureka naming server now let me start that server to recent so eureka naming server also connecting the config service load the prop uh, configuration for service registry okay now all the configs are started let me stop the service registry our service registry started running under 8761 Eight seven six one. Now it is going to register the our config service inside the service registry. That log will appear now. Config service. Let me clear this log. See the config service is registered now. Let me open the. Eureka naming server. So Eureka naming server up and running. Inside Eureka naming server, our config service register. Now config service available. Eureka naming service available. If you start the account service now, we are able to start because config service available. The account service connect to the config service. Load the all necessary properties configurations. Okay. Let me start the config uh, account service now. See it's loading from the repo. From the repo, it's loading. See here. 
is running under 9092. Running under 9092. In our uh, uh, repo config service uh, dot yaml, you are mentioned 9092. The same port number it's showing. So it's correctly loading the config service, but still we are getting some error. Let's see what's the error. Customer controller. Yeah, it's giving some. Uh, oh, okay. I got that. Got it. In the customer controller, I used one uh, um, billing app, right? This is not required, okay? Because this particular value is a uh, property is not available in the config service. We have app dot test. We have. We don't have that app dot value. We don't have app dot value property inside the config. Uh, inside the account service YAML file. That's the reason it's giving the error. It's a valid error. So I'll go and remove. I'm not using this thing anywhere. So I'm removing that. I'll go to start the other. So oh, I'm using. I'm using here. Okay. So I don't want to uh, use this endpoint at all. Okay. I'll remove that endpoint. Let's start the application. So account service started. Also, account service registered in our Eureka naming server. See here, that log is coming here. Okay, now we'll, we'll check the Eureka naming server. The Eureka naming server, we have account service, config service registered. I will explain upcoming cast why we are using this uh, Eureka naming server. Even I have explained in the first session of microservices what is the purpose of Eureka naming server. Okay, but definitely I will go and explain again in the upcoming, upcoming uh, session also. What is the real purpose of uh, um, naming server? If you want to uh, know about that, go on to check my first video that is uh, session 13. Okay. So, uh, in the Eureka naming server, we have we have deployed account service and the config service that we are we are registered account service config service. Okay, so based on this architecture, we are connected with the DB database and uh, we are connected with the config server and we have connected with the service registry. Let's check DB is created properly. Um, the, the I mean uh, let's see uh, table is created properly inside the DB. Okay, our expectation is. Customer table should create, right? See, customer table created. As of now, there is no any data. Now, we'll go into uh, check all the endpoint which we implemented. Okay. Account service, we have implemented three endpoint, right? One for adding and updating, another for fetching all the customer, another one is fetching particular customer. We'll go into verify uh, these three different endpoint. Let me open Postman. Please install Postman your local machine. It's a open source. It's a very easy to install. Okay. What is the URL to access um, saving the account service? This is the URL, right? You have to copy this URL. So in the class level, I mentioned API. That's the reason I'm saying localhost, port number, API, and the customer. I'm going to just to use this uh, endpoint here. What is the field? Whatever field in the customer object available, we are just here to use those field. Okay. First name. Uh, first name. First name. Last name. First name, I'm going to say Suresh. Last name. Stalin. Then email email is 
refresh at gmail.com then fee fee is i am saying uh, thousand then uh, tax and the total value you don't have to input because based on the fee value it will calculate the tax of the fee then that tax value added to the total tax the tax value and the fee value added to the total value so it will automatically calculate by our service method service method in the service method i am doing this logic this logic populate the tax value total value okay so we don't have to input uh, tax and total value this is the mandatory attribute we need to pass while saving new customer okay now i'll going to send the request it's saying uh, 404 not found yeah i think it's a customers the customer it's a plural right it's not a here i given singular it's a plural customers now i'm going to send again see i got the success response 201 created 201 created i am saying here created right so it's giving 201 created also i got the success response after successful save after successful save the new customer object assigned here the customer object having a newly generated id that id is a one here see id one suresh talin and then suresh at gmail.com thousand tax is zero the total value thousand hundred tax is not populating there are some minor uh, error will be available here maybe okay that's the reason tax response coming as a zero zero but the tot the total value pop calculated properly here it's the uh, gft is 10 percentage right here so the for thousand rupees gft is 100 rupees 100 into thousand is a thousand hundred that is happened properly but i am not populating tax value in the response object okay that's the reason it's giving a zero zero what you have to do is simple fix that customer dot set tax equal to tax equal to tax you have to see that's it that's the reason it's not populating here okay it's not not populating here okay okay we are able to store the customer data let's check the db now see the um, customer object created here created properly suresh at gmail.com fee thousand first name suresh last name stalin tax is zero because you have not popped the tax value that's the reason to give zero then total value thousand and okay let me restart the application this fix will get fixed this this, this error will get fixed now if you check now after restarting At the same time, I'm going to change the request object. While saving the request object, you don't have to pass ID, right? This is a request object. Ram Kumar Ram. Then I'm saying 2000 is F uh, fee. Yeah, it started now. I'll send. I'm, I'm going to send the request again. So to the 201 created now tax field got populated now okay that issue is fixed let's check the database see ram 2000 ram ram kumar then tax 200 total 2200 so the crude operation that is uh, adding a new record is working fine let's check now uh, view wall view wall customer view wall customer what is the view wall customer endpoint view wall is the same endpoint the same endpoint we need to use but we need to select get mapping we need to select get mapping in the postman i am just selecting the get the same endpoint okay we don't have to give uh, request body in this case even if you provide it won't consider the request body because i am selecting a get now i am sending a request See here, I got the response with the two records. Second record, first record. Another one is, another endpoint is viewing the particular customer. We have two customer, right? One and two. I want to view two. Now, second customer. For that, 
जस्ट इज ए स्लैश टू सी आई गॉट द सेकेंड कस्टमर नाउ फिर से वन आई गॉट द फर्स्ट कस्टमर नाउ फिर से थ्री इट विल गिव जीरो ओके नो रेस्पॉन्स Okay, now we have connected with database. We are able to do some crude operation. Also, in the Pomodoro decimal file, you can see here I added a cloud starter config and a cloud starter bootstrap. Right, these two artifacts for loading the con account configuration from the config service. That is the reason we are added these two dependency. Then this dependency. Star, Spring Cloud, Starter, Netflix, Eureka client. This dependency for registering our account service inside a Eureka naming server. Okay, this is for loading the configuration from the config service. This is for registering the account uh, service inside a Eureka naming server. Now, according to this architecture, we have connected the DB. Connected the DB. We are connected to the config service. We are connected to the service registry. This part is completed. Okay, let's check that uh, Eureka naming server. I'm refreshing it. You can see account service also available, config service also available. Okay, I'll going to close the video today. Come, um, close the video today. Signing off the video today. Tomorrow we'll going to see creating a product service and a reporting service. Okay, until then, bye bye from Suresh. still not subscribe this channel please subscribe it share this video to your friend circle click bell icon for regular updates thanks for watching this full video